Hello, Zero K fans! Welcome to Nanalee the Dawn. I am your host, Shadow Fury 333 and we're starting out today with a match between Kshatriya and Adam2 on Baron, a map which I've actually been showing a lot recently. So, anyone who's been watching this a lot will have seen it, kind of understand how it plays out. For those who don't, Northwest Southeast starts. Both start locations have about six metal, but spread across four metal extractors as opposed to the usual three. And overall, a very sparse map. Tending towards very, very prolonged confrontations along the center area, or very quick confrontations that end in a few minutes. See which one this is. Adam going for jump bots. Chatria also going for jump bots. Jump bots being very popular nowadays, actually. They've kind of, for a lot of people, overtaken cloaky bots. I think a lot of that. I'm not sure exactly why. I think a lot of it is people just discovering what you can do with them. Especially since Clokybots, like, the Clokybot jump bot meta, it's, it went from Pyro versus Zeus, then followed up by Moderator, and then Glaive to Pyro versus Glaive Tick, and I think a lot of people don't really like having to deal with that, because Glaive Tick against Pyro is a tough thing to deal with. You don't have Moderators to worry about, but Pyros are a pain in the butt to deal with using Glaives and Ticks. So why not just fight fire with fire? Or in this case, fight fire with living missiles. Quite effective at that too. Puppies do counter pyros quite nicely since they are invincible in missile form when firing. But yeah, that's jump bots. A lot of people have really turned to jump bots nowadays. Very popular factory. So Kshatra... I mean, they know Adam 2 has gone for jump bot as well. They know they're going for the puppies, and they've got to deal with that. With puppies of their own, because... Why not? I mean, at this stage in the game, it's too expensive to... It, like getting, say, a jack or something else that'd be able to deal with puppies by just tanking them and not caring, not quite viable yet. And Pyros don't have the range. Moderators, just, it would take so many puppy kills to make it worth it. And puppies could just, I mean, enough puppies would power through that, so it wouldn't be an issue to deal with. So it is a bit of a tricky thing to deal with, but yeah, puppies, bit of a pain, but not too bad. Just get range on them. Bit difficult for the jump, the jump bot factory to do, but not impossible. Anyway, that's that's just the start out. So Kshatra and Adam both expanding. Adam expanding further into their well, yeah, further north, going towards the southwest corner of the map. Kshatra also going towards the southwest corner of the map, going through the plus two point one metal expansion. While Adam, no apparent plans to go there yet. They are very focused on taking pretty much their entire ridge north south first. Interesting. Interesting they're both going for the southwest. This map is not quite symmetric. But it's very nearly symmetric. So it's as you can see, just looking at the way it's set up, it is basically more of a radial symmetry. It's a bit subtle, but yeah, it is a radial symmetry or very nearly. I think these metal spots aren't quite yeah, they aren't quite radial. They're more mirrored. But I'm still surprised that the Southwest is being the target. I For Adam, not so much. The 1.4 is pretty close. Although, then again, it's not that big of a deal. At any rate, like between 1.4 and 1.0, it's not that different. It's kind of different, but it's not that different. Kshatra, however, going right through that south side and will be able to get in, do a fair amount of damage. Oh, will they? Actually, I can't guarantee... I can't say that for sure. Oh, never mind. Yeah, they actually will do quite a bit of damage to Kshatra, to Adam's base. Adam losing two metal extractors and leaving the north side of their base rather open. Decent amount of damage was dealt there, but Adam is still ahead. Their main problem right now is power, and that energy problem was not actually something that really the pyros caused. That energy problem is merely a matter of not having enough energy. There needs to be more power plants. Kshatri, on the other hand, perfectly fine for power, a little behind in metal, but not by much. But, okay, okay, part of that is Adam's reclaim. So static metal-wise, Adam is behind, but now Adam has the southwest. This is going to be difficult to work with. Like, Adam has the southwest. They have a decent vantage point for attacking. Kshatra doesn't really have this defended very well over to their south. They're defending the center just fine, but the south is not really dealt with. But Kshatra coming in, once again hitting that north side and dealing with it pretty effectively. The pyro will be... Okay. It's half health. It won't be able to deal with the Lotus. It's not even going to do much damage at all. Going for the suicide attack in the Metal Extractor, and that, I think, will kill it. 
Extractor is commander doing just fine, and Adam 2 losing a Metal Extractor indeed. So Adam 2 kind of falling behind. They have the southwest, but they've lost the north side of their base. They're taking the east side, so really, Kshatra just pressing very relentlessly on Adam. Adam, on the other hand, has basically provided no pressure for Kshatriya. And Kshatriya has been able to get rid of just about everything that Adam's been doing to expand. Adam has not returned the favor. They've tried, but Kshatriya already called that. They haven't really attacked along the south side, which would be the easiest route to attack from. They're just under so much pressure, I mean, why would they? It's it's way too intimidating right now. Like if they... Okay, so Otto is pointing out that Pyros, when they jump, actually deal their pass-through damage on the entire model, so I guess they hit the model several times. I was not aware that that was still the case. I thought that that was fixed. Maybe that's just Gauss. I think it's just Gauss that... If that's the case, then it was just Gauss that it was fixed to not hit multiple times, because that was a thing that Gauss had, where it hit the same target multiple times. I wasn't aware Flames had that issue as well. Or at least had that particular property. I'm not sure if it's an issue, but it is a property, apparently. Anyway, Kshatra and Adam going, well, for a bit of a fight, but really, Kshatra doesn't care. Like, Adam's defending, but Kshatra, they kind of win by breaking stuff. Although, that's actually a fair amount of reclaim. Ooh, that's actually a lot of reclaim. Yeah, that might... Oh, never mind. Well, okay, they need to get a worker there, but still... They donated about 150, 200 metal worth of reclaim. So, it's not that bad, actually. Anyway, okay, so apparently it's not an issue. It's... It does happen. It is a property. It's not considered an issue. That's fine. I mean, there's... I can see why you wouldn't necessarily mind. But yeah, anyway, so... Pressure continues to be placed. Adam does have the reclaim to work with, but Kshatra... Their static economy alone is doing fine. If they had reclaim on top of that, they'd be in a great position. And as it is, they're in a great position. Adam, on the other hand, still low on power, still not producing as much as they should be. I mean, they're pushing as... They're pushing decently hard. Like, two Freakers in a factory, that's minus 20. But... Yeah, with the reclaim, they're still... They still have more than enough metal. They need to push another Freaker on this in order to make it really efficient. And, of course, get more power plants. As always. Shatra, on the other hand, they have power plants pretty... Actually... Pretty sparsely as well. They need more power plants, too. Both players need more power plants. Like, 17, 20 compared to 20, and 19 and 19 metal. It's just... Not gonna work out. But Kshatra taking the south side of Adam's base... Very commanding position right now. Adam, I suppose they do have angles they could attack from, but I don't think they're aware of them. If we check their... Yeah, their line of sight, they have no idea. I mean, they know that Kshatriya is starting to set up. They don't know what they can attack. Whereas Kshatriya, on the other hand, they know from their various raids basically everything they need to know about Adam's base. They know where Adam is. They know where they can deal damage. They know where they can break areas. I mean, that... Another Defender Nest broken. Another Freaker lost, although it's more just... It means it's, it'll take longer to reclaim this stuff. It'll be reclaimed. It's on the queue to be reclaimed, but it's still going to take longer to reclaim it. And Adam finally getting some raiding in. And even then, continuing to lose their Pyros. But get, finally gets rid of a Metal Spot. However, that's not enough. Shatra really... They're hurt more by their own lack of power than they are, and actually their lack of production capacity, or rather build power, than they are their lack of metal. So Kshatriya right now, they are... I mean, it's obvious they're going to be setting up here and then just smashing the southwest side. Probably killing Adam's commander in the process, and if that doesn't break the camel's back, I don't know what will, because Adam has basically no territory. This area is dead. This area is so dead. Unless Adam can smash through this north base, or north fire base right here, this south base is essentially gone. And Adam's commander is... Is it gone? No, not quite. Very close. 200 health left. It'll be like 200 health left when it's done burning. But that's... That is frightening. Look, goes. Jack's coming in for Adam. First Jack's on the field. I was wondering if these were going to come up, but... There they are. 
The one thing that could possibly turn this around would be... Well, okay, not quite one thing, but one of the big things that could turn this around would be a Jack, because the Jack has 500,000 health. It really doesn't care. It just tanks everything. Which works well for the Pyros, but even then, it's not working out to a hover. Chatra's commander! Chatra's commander's the one that's going to die first, not Adams! And then North Base has been broken. Chatra does not have a guaranteed destruction of the Southwest Base anymore. That Southwest Base is no longer dead. Nicely done, Adam, saving that southwest base and smashing up Chatra's firebase there. Pulling it back. That Jack did its job, while Chatra, on the other hand, switching to Pyro Jack as well. Now, the thing with Jack is that it's a melee unit, and jump bots have placeholders. Placeholders, they basically nullify melee units. So I'm a little surprised that neither player has gone for placeholders. I mean, they would be a little bit tricky to control. And of course, you're kind of assuming your opponent's going to continue going for jacks. But if you figure your opponent's going to continue going for jacks, that's going to be extremely effective. And is this going to... Ooh, this actually could do a fair amount of damage. I don't think it'll get rid of the fa... Oh, we'll get rid of the factory in time. Assuming the factory is actually attacked and not the Lotus. Nope. If the factory was targeted the entire time, it would have gone down. But no, the factory was not targeted the entire time, and that factory will remain standing. It will not burn down. Ah, oh, that would have been so close. If that factory had been the entire focus, that would have been perfect. It's still been shut down for a little while. Still not able to really produce, but it is not going to burn down. This does give Chatria a little bit more of a window, though. Because the production was paused, and... Oh, wow, is it? No, okay, there we go. 300 health left. It's not going to burn down, and that would be... That would be ridiculous. That's... was that? 600 health. But no, it looks like... Kshatra is still in a good position. Not quite as commanding. That was scary. That base, that firebase was scary. The southwest looks like it might be turning... Oh, there's a caretaker. But nothing else really being built. I'm a bit surprised. I kind of expected Kshatra to start building up maybe an additional factory or something proxy. They seem to be putting a lot into this area of the map. And their main base has been hit, attacked so many times. Right, their main base is very insecure. It's quite obviously insecure. Just the amount of damage it's taken thus far. The southwest base has actually been hit less hard. But I don't think they're going to do that. I don't think Adam's going to do that. Kshatra is, however, like I said, focusing, continuing, on, continuing to focus on the northwest side of the map. And Adam continuing to not push... Okay, they really can't. I am surprised that they aren't just making these freakers urgent. Like, hold alt when you make when you create the freakers and make them urgent, because you need to use that, or just use these freakers right here. Because 26 metal excessing? Sheesh. And Kshatra's... Well, Kshatra's one jack did a pretty good job. The second jack will die. Momentum's starting to turn around. Even with Adam's lack of production, Kshatra is still throwing units away. And really, a placeholder would work beautifully against this composition. Against the Pyros and Jacks. The Pyros would still be a bit of a problem, but the Jacks would be out of the way. And even then, for the way that Kshatri is playing, where they're basically just attacking only in, as much as they need to in order to destroy what's behind the defenders, placeholders would work even better. Because it would just lock it down, and Kshatri could wipe out Adam's base. And that's how Adam's been playing. Sorry, that's how Kshatri's been playing so far. And this Jack's got one more Defender Missile. There it is. Right as I say that, the Defender Missile hits. So at this point, Adam's pretty well stabilized. They have to rebuild these Metal Extractors. Wow, that's a lot of Metal... How much Metal is this, too? That's like five Metal in their territory. Pretty secure. Well, moderately secure. But still in their territory that has not been retaken. I'm a little surprised at that, actually. Oh yeah, plus this, about 6 metal per second. So they could have easily the same... They could be on par with Kshatra easily. They just need to rebuild their metal extractors. And Kshatra with the gunship plant. And Firewalker coming in from Adam. Well, eventually coming in from Adam. It'll take a little while. Looks like it'll probably take about 3 or 4 minutes before the Firewalker even starts production. And this is what I was talking about with Baron. Now we're in the stage of the game where Baron becomes a bit of a slog map. 
very trenchy because this center area of the map is difficult to get up. There are a lot of routes to get up. This is all bot pathable, but most of the time players will focus on these ramps. And because of that, it tends to get a bit trenchy. I mean, mostly bot pathable. Regardless, these are jump bots, so they really don't care. Still, Kshatra way ahead in economy. I mean, they had to reclaim as well, but just the static economy alone is another is five metal ahead. And without the with the reclaim on top of that, yeah, they're doing fine. Gunship plants up. Are they going to go for rapiers? That would be my guess, and they are indeed. That being the typical play. The southwest base finally going down, but honestly, it wasn't really that useful for the last minute or two. It has not been useful for Adam. They didn't rebuild the metal extractors. They kind of just left for dead. And now it is. I'm a bit surprised. Like, I, like I said, I'm still surprised that no one's trying to use play soldiers. Auto War is pointing out that Freakers are hard counter to Pyros which and Jax, which is a really good point. The slow beam has been very effective at keeping Adam alive. It's just that even then, Kshatra, either from production or just not really caring when they attack, like being aggressive enough and then like I said going past the units when they need to it hasn't really mattered Adam has not been producing enough units for it to really make for the freakers to make that that big of a difference they're making something of a difference they are helping a lot but I still think whoever gets placeholders first will have a major advantage in an upcoming fight which at this point is nobody I still don't know why they're what 600 metal Oh, not even 250 metal. Jacks are 600. Yeah, they're half the cost of a jack, and they shut all of them down. Like, if Adam got... A, either one. Either one. Either one. Adam is the one who has more to worry about because of four jacks bearing down on them. Because 20,000 health worth of jacks is a little bit difficult to deal with. 20,000 health worth of jacks that's just locked down with pyros being able to hit it where the jacks can't hit back. That's perfectly fine. That's easy. Yeah, the rapiers coming up will probably close this out for Kshatriya. They have been ahead this entire game, even with throwing units away into Freaker-supported pyro lines. It has still not made that big of a difference. Adam, however, with the production finally on, on point, finally getting everything set up, finally getting their Firewalker too, now that they've got everything working for them, this is where it's going to become interesting. Because all these units here, that's... Oh, well, I don't want to select... Whatever. Anyway, the point is they they are in a pretty interesting position. But these rapiers are going to probably decide it. No archangels up yet. It will take too long for them to matter. No defenders either. No razors or anything. This really was not red at all. This, this is a free. This is a free attack for the rapiers. Possibly the only free attack they get, but a free attack nonetheless. The pyros still a concern because of the flames, and that is a problem. But Pyros, as we've seen before with the Freakers, are pretty hard hit by slow. Or rather, hit pretty hard by slow. That's something that's going to become rather important right now. Because at this point, they just don't care. They aren't even attacking the Rapiers. Emergency Archangel being built. Adam doesn't really have much to work with, though. Adam actually... Oh, okay, losing Stardust. Yeah, the Jacks... See, that's the thing, is... When I was talking about the Pyros, the Pyros were a nice little defensive line on the Jacks, but getting pulled out by the Rapiers... I mean, the Rapiers did a fair amount of damage, but just as a distraction tactic, allowing the Jacks to get in and smash up the base, these Rapiers have succeeded. Just at the divide and conquer, let alone the raw damage. And yeah, this is... And Adam actually does know where all this stuff is coming from, too. They actually have quite a bit of vision now. But at this point, Kshatriya is basically going for the death blow. That was a very nice split. Though, i got to say that. I'm not sure if that's exactly what Kshatriya had in mind, but that's what it worked out to be. And the Rapiers attacking the weak points. Now, that's what Kshatriya's really been doing this entire game, has been hitting weak points. Because Adam and Kshatriya have had similar production, similar economy. I mean, Kshatriya's been a little bit ahead this entire time, but they've been relatively similar most of this game. And the main difference has been Kshatriya being more aggressive and applying pressure to Adam, keeping Adam somewhat intimidated, and Kshatriya attacking the weak points a lot. And finally that jump bot factor goes down five minutes later than it should have, because that pyro attack really could have taken it down. But no matter, even without that, it's just... It's just over. 
Caretaker coming up for an emergency factory from Adam, but at this point with only seven metal production, or rather seven metal income, they are not gonna bother. That's game. That was interesting. Jump bot mirror with a few no. Well, I think the biggest mistake, other than not having the pyros destroy the factory when they had the chance, not that that actually cost the game or anything. I think the biggest mistake probably was not defending and rebuilding enough. Like Adam, is it was a small thing. It wasn't like Adam was doing anything majorly wrong. I can't think of any particular play they screwed up. A lot of it, for the most part, other than that split. They were never that far behind Kshatri. They were just a bit behind, but not that far behind. I think the biggest mistake they made was they weren't rebuilding, so their economy got damaged, and it's a really common mistake, but they weren't rebuilding their metal extractors when they had the chance. And that's... That is... Yeah, I think the metal extractor thing, that's really the big big mistake. It was a subtle mistake, it was a gradual mistake, but it, I, it's the only mistake that I can really think of. Everything else between both players was about the same. Right, there wasn't anything that one player did remarkably better or worse than the other. It was just Adam didn't have the money. If you even look at metal produced, like Adam was actually not too far off either, but then they also accessed metal, which wasn't great. And yeah, they didn't use as much metal. Although actually, no, maybe not. They did build a lot of units. And they didn't use them as efficiently. So yeah, despite the fact that Kshatcher was throwing units into Adam's lines, Adam actually did lose more units, although I can't see how many, how much metal worth of units they lost. Adam did build more puppies, which does skew the numbers a bit. Though admittedly, not quite this much. A lot of it, I think, just came down to Adam really... Part of it was me mech's recovery, and just generally not re-expanding to places and re-consolidating them. And a lot of it was the pressure. Although, like I said, Chatcher donated a lot of metal, so... It's a bit weird. But anyway, that's that. So that is that game. We're going to have now a short series between Google Frog and Lori. I only know of a couple of the games that are involved in that series, but there are apparently a couple of these series. Oh, never mind. That's actually a different series than of. Hmm, what do I want to do now? Now I've got to make a choice. Is this Google Frog and Acronym, or is this Google Frog and Lori? Mm, I'll have Google Frog and Acronym for another day. So yeah, it'll be Google Frog and Lori, starting on Inculta. And that'll be up in a couple minutes, so stay tuned. <laughs>